Hi, dear. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're taking a little break from the Mustang here because I still haven't gotten the tool yet. Today we're we're doing some uh, some ricey boy mods. We got a can of the uh, VHT nightshades. You know that that insane deal at Meyer, and uh, we're gonna tint the tail lights on my truck because why not? So I already have the one out. I didn't think to record until I already took all this out and started. But I already have the one out. It's already degreased and ready to go. And we're uh, gonna be using this tint. We're gonna spray it. I do, however, have to finish off taping because this is it's paint matched to my truck. And I don't want uh, this to get on the, you know, the outside housing of it. So that's why I got the rag draped over. But I'm gonna finish taping off. I don't know if you guys can see it that well. But right in here, it's still kind of showing, and I don't want it. I don't want it to look sloppy at all. So I'm gonna go along here really quick and finish taping this off, and then we're gonna get spraying. All right. So I have. I now have it all taped off. I have it taped off on the inside here, so that way you know no overspray or anything will get on the the outer trim of it. We're just gonna lay this rag over because I'm not about to tape off all down there. It's just a just a waste of tape. And what we're gonna do is make sure this is shaken up pretty good. And then uh, I never used this before, but a lot of people that I've asked, they said that it, it works really good. It's a nice it's a nice cheap way to tint you know headlights and tail lights without having to actually go out and buy like smoke headlights or tail lights. I'm just gonna, okay. And now what we're gonna do is just do nice even sprays over like this. We're gonna do it, uh, I'm, gonna just, I'm gonna be on my knees right here just sort of up like this. So that way it goes across, get a nice even coat. We're gonna let that dry. And while we let that dry, we're gonna take out the other one and we're gonna start taping that up and getting it ready. Just one simple coat on this, and it already looks 10 times better. I think looking at it in person, it's actually darker than what it shows up on camera. That is, <laughs> that is awesome. But while we let this dry, we're actually gonna go over and take off the other one. But first, if you guys are wondering, why is there uh, another Mustang in here? That is his. Uh, introduce yourself to the channel. Michael. Yeah. <laughs> you probably all know me. Oh yeah. And uh, He's doing some ricey boy mods too. That, you know, that good old, uh, oh, that's the wrong can. <laughs> oh, that's right there, yeah. That good uh, caliper paint. He's just painting his calipers because he got, he's got custom rims and he's gonna get slot in drilled rotors and all that. And so it'll add on the look, you know. This, the back isn't painted obviously yet. We haven't gotten to that yet. But, you know, custom rims, slot in drilled rotors are coming in. It'll, it'll be a good look. Uh, tell me a little bit about the car actually. It's a V6. Oh. What all have you done to it? A lot. I put some penises on the back window. I don't know if it... Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, a lot, really. I mean, third, third brake light, tail lights, sequential kits, a new gas cap, uh, new tires, rims, a whole new audio system, a double-gen radio. Uh, I just ordered uh, slotted and drilled rotors. Painting my calipers, uh, new headlights. I'm gonna get a chin spoiler and a grill delete. And I tinted the windows. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think that's it. <laughs> yeah, no, actually, his car, he got, he got really lucky with this find. He, where'd you get this from again? Um, I found it on Craigslist. It was posted 15 minutes before I seen it. But it was from Louisiana, and it was some guy's mom. She passed away, and then I uh, 
he ended up selling it and he actually gave me a really good deal for it. He, it's only got 60,000 miles. I bought it for 2,500. No rust, nothing. Yeah, he got he got an insane, insane deal. And even though it's only an, a V6 automatic, this is probably the cleanest Mustang around here, honestly. Yeah. Because, you know, mine's cool and all, but <laughs> it needs a little bit of body work. But besides that, she's a fun car. But yeah, no. He has probably the cleanest uh, new edge Mustang anywhere here in Ohio that I've I've seen. It has no rust, not even underneath. Underneath is just a little bit of surface rust here and there. But other than that, this thing is spotless. That's why if you were wondering why I was all jacked up, we're painting the calipers and caliper brackets, making it look good and all that. But all right, let's head over to the truck. We'll start taking out the second headlight and taping it up and preparing it for spraying. All right, so don't mind all the junk in the bed of my truck here. But actually taking these headlights out, it's really easy. I was a little confused at first because the trim piece that goes around it, I didn't know if that had to come off first. But actually, it's very, very easy. You just need a, uh, a T25 Torx bit. And then you can use a normal quarter inch ratchet, but I'm deciding to be lazy and use my electric. And it's just two bolts, one right here, if I can get it. And there we go. There's one, and then the second one. Then after you take those out, then the headlight should just wiggle loose. And boom, you got yourself your headlight. And now we're gonna tape this up real quick and then we're gonna get this one ready for spraying. Real quick, before I actually tape this down, I don't know how well it's gonna look on camera, but in person, it is just, I mean, it is a night and day difference between the two. I mean, I think it, it looks so good with the spray tint on compared to stock. I don't know, I don't know how well it's gonna show up on camera, but damn, this looks good. All right, let's get this painted and get ready for the coat. All right, so this is dry now. And now just to make it, you know, just to make it look good and to top it all off, we're gonna throw on one more coat of this. Then we're gonna move this over here onto the paper towels to dry. We're gonna take this light and we're gonna start spraying. Wow, guys, that looks so much better, so much better. We have two coats on this one and one coat on this one. We're gonna let them both dry. I'm not gonna take the paint off or anything just yet, or not the paint, the, uh, the tape. I'm not gonna take any of that off just yet. We're going to both let these sit here and drive. I'm gonna help him with his car for a little bit, and then we will get back to these once they're dry. Okay, guys, so the second tent one is still drying a little bit, but this one is dry for the most part. So we are going to smack this with another coat. Then we're going to let these both sit and dry. We'll take the paint off. We'll put them on the truck. And I have a picture of this one before. So I'll, I'll show like before and after pictures at the end of the video. But I'm telling you, this is going to this is going to make my truck look 10 times better. Oh, I mean, just these alone. And I was thinking about doing the third brake light and the headlights i'll show you here and the headlights but the thing is one this one's leaking and two if anything i'm gonna get aftermarket ones and get a whole one piece because these are two pieces it's, it's original it's stock i'm gonna get a like aftermarket one piece ones and i'll just already get those tinted so i don't have to you know worry about doing it myself same with fog lights. Now, I haven't had the best of luck of finding aftermarket fog lights for these things. So if anyone out there knows where I can find some cool ones, at least just like tinted, you know, smoked. Because um, I'll get an LED light kit and everything. It's just uh, one of these are faded, you know. If, if anyone knows where I can find some smoked fog lights, please let me know in the comments. I read them all. Even though there's not many, I still read them. <laughs> and the third brake light, I was going to tint this too. But actually I found online a really good deal for an aftermarket smoked LED third brake light uh, slash bed light. So I'm just gonna go with that. I'm not even gonna bother taking that off or doing anything like that. Cause it's actually, the kit is really cheap. So 
I'm not gonna bother with that. I'm just gonna do the tail lights for right now. Plus I just wanted to see, you know, what it would look like. And from how these things look, they're going to look amazing. So now we're gonna smack this one with the second coat. We're gonna let them dry and then we'll put them back on the truck. Okay, real quick guys, the tail lights are still drying. Uh, the one side that had the two coats on originally, it's just a little sticky, so I'm just waiting for it to dry more. Uh, this side I haven't even bothered touching because so it's probably still drying. But um, that side's almost dry. We'll put that side on in here in a second. I just wanted to give a quick update on the Mustang. So I still haven't gotten the bolt out yet. My friend Nick, he has a, uh, a, whole, case, a whole set of left-hand drill bits. Basically, if you guys don't know what that is, is you know how on a drill bit when you're drilling down the spirals it starts off like this and so it's spiraling like this left-handed ones are just where it's reversed so it'll grip like this and the idea of it is you take a center punch and you put it in the center of the broken off bolt you know center it best you can and give it a good tap so we have something to start off on and you take this left-handed drill bit and you just start drilling you drill kind of slowly and the idea behind it is since it's rotating like this, the teeth will catch and it'll thread it right out. Now I have been periodically throughout the days uh, taking a bit of crow's oil or, you know, PB blaster, whatever you want to call it. This is actually uh, coal oil, but um, it works the same as like PB blaster, any stuff like that to break things loose. And I've been soaking it in there. I like take a, like a water bottle cap, I fill it and I just dump it in there. So that way it's soaking through to all the threads getting everything nice and loose so hopefully that'll come out and i don't have to tear any of this apart hopefully it'll just come right out and so then you know we'll be good and i continue i can put this all back together i can drive it so i'm hoping and also real quick while we're at it this is we got one side done this paint is taking forever to dry but we have one side done and check that out that looks good. That looks really good. Now he is gonna be getting um, slotted and drilled rotors here soon. When did you say you were gonna get those? Uh, next Tuesday it should be in. Next Tuesday. And so next, uh, new pads, slotted and drilled rotors with the painted red calipers. His car is gonna look really good. Like really, really good. And now see what I mean like here? There's just a little bit of surface rust here and there. That's that's his whole car underneath. It. You lucked out, honestly. I know. I mean, it's not V8 and it's not manual, but it's still, for what it is, it's awesome. But all right, we're gonna let the we're gonna let the lights the uh, the light housings finish drying, peel the tape off, and put them on the truck. So I'll see you guys in just a minute. Okay, guys, that looks freaking amazing. That looks awesome. It way better than what they used to look like. I did get a little bit on the trim right here but it's nothing noticeable especially if you're at a distance you really can't tell but that looks awesome guys that really looks awesome uh i figured i'd spare the boring part of me just peeling all the paint off and doing all of that I figured i'd spare you guys of doing all that or you know watching all that but here let's get this on real quick Yeah, guys, that looks awesome. All right, we're going to untape the other side and then we'll throw it on there and then I will mount the GoPro right here and I'll show you guys what it looks like putting it in reverse and hitting the brakes. It is awesome. All right, guys, the other one's finished drying now. This one, there's a little bit of overspray on the sides right here and up here, which I don't understand how it's up here because this was literally covered in tape. I, I don't understand it. But we're gonna throw this on real quick and then we'll see how it looks. This looks freaking amazing. The tint on this, like, I don't know, I never imagined it to look this good. And even though it's just a spray tint, it, it looks good. Cause it goes with the tinted windows. And I mean, this, it looks good. It looks really good for a spray tint. I didn't realize it, but down here it's still a little wet, uh, but we'll let that air dry. It's no biggie. It's just a tiny little part of it. This side is good. But yeah, this looks amazing. Now I'm gonna have my friend over here. He's gonna hold the camera and we're gonna start this thing up 
and we'll put it in reverse that way you guys can get uh you know see what it looks like with a spray tint see what the lights look like the reverse look light because this i'm telling you this thing it's it looks better in person but it looks good Once again guys these turned out so so good and I'll show you guys here again the can what I used I just use uh, wait hold on don't want to get a copyright <laughs> I just use VHT nightshades you can buy this stuff at I believe AutoZone and O'Reilly's and places like that but also the Myers by my house, they sell this stuff. That's where I got this from originally. This stuff works great. And I only, I think this the can itself is only like nine or $10. So it's very inexpensive and I barely used any of it. Like you could easily tin out every light. Like if you had side marker lights, you could tint those out. You could easily use the whole can to tin out an entire car and still have leftover. Like this, it, there's a lot in that can. And it's a pretty decent sized can. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for tonight. I hope you enjoyed. As always, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, comment down below if there's anything specific you want to see, and share this with everyone. Help me grow this channel into something truly amazing. As always, till next time, bye.